What's going on everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com and in the last Dynasty video we took on Georgia Tech and we ended up pulling off yet another upset. This is like our third one of the season. They had more talent than we did but we played great offensively especially in terms of not turning the ball over and then defensively we really took care of business there. So we are now four and three and today we have a much tougher challenge. Now Georgia Tech and Florida State have the same type of talent just in terms of overall, both of them are B+. Plus. But Florida State, I always feel like, just has a little bit more oomph, especially at this period of time in college football. Now, they're 18th in the country, but they're 3-3, three and three, so they're losing some games. But you look at their stats, it all looks pretty solid outside of maybe passing offense. They run a pro-style offense, 4-3 defense. Their defense looks extremely stout, and they their turnover differential is as good as you can ask for. Hopefully we can win. It's going to be tough. Now, in the last game against Georgia Tech, we had one visitor come in, but he did not commit. It's Philip Warren, the tackle. He is a soft verbal. Maybe if we win today, he will commit at the end of that. But we got a couple of other guys that are ready to take a visit. Rob Harper, the free safety. Now, we don't know what he's really into yet, but we need to look at something here. Now, we can have him come and visit today, or we can have him come next week. Wake Forest. Wake Forest is not as talented as Florida State. So I'm just assuming that Florida State, we have a better chance of winning that one. It's a coin toss, especially this season when I'm beating all the good teams and losing to all the bad teams. So what do I know? But I think what I'm going to do is have him come for the Wake Forest game. Normally, I want to schedule these as early as possible, get them out of the way. But all that matters here is you got to win the ball games. And I feel like we got a better chance against Wake Forest do we do against Florida State? Plus, it's just a one-week difference. I doubt he will commit somewhere this week. I could be dead wrong. We'll take the chance. I'm going to have him come for the Wake Forest game. Middle linebacker Sean Harris, he still hasn't narrowed down his top three, but we are in really good shape, especially since we have a positive pitch. Now, last but not least is Colby Lacey, the center. He, too, is ready to visit, and I'm going to do the same thing. We'll just have him come for the Wake Forest game, and maybe by next week we'll find out if we have a positive pitch i'm guessing we probably don't from what i can tell here the only thing we don't know about is program prestige and coach prestige and ours is bad in both so we're it's gonna be really tough to get this kid even though we're in good shape we're at the top of his list we got a bit of a gap between georgia and alabama but again you gotta win your ball games for the team for the games where these guys come in to visit so we'll have them both come next week so let's go to Sports Illustrated. Look, let's look at some things. Now, bowl rankings, I'm not going to look at that. It has no effect on us. You can see it here real briefly, who your top five is. Top 25 polls is meaningless at this point, especially for us. Heisman Watch has no effect on us whatsoever, but if you want to see who the top five are, there they are. Now, you can go to Players of the Week. I don't mind looking at this because this could change or affect us every week. National Players of the Week, offensively, quarterback out of BYU had a really good game but then a defensive player out of Syracuse had a really good game now you check out the ACC quarterback Ben Moff we're going to face him next week and then look at there Philip Alexander your defensive player of the week in the ACC in week 8 4 tackles for loss 2 sacks and a forced fumble let's go to conference standings this matters a little bit more now since we keep winning all of our division games here we are in the Coastal, and we're technically in first place. Now, our arch rival, North Carolina, they're still undefeated. The remainder of their games are conference games, and so is ours, but we got a two-game uh, lead above them just in terms of how many conference games we played. But we are in great shape here. As you can tell, Schneider, Boyle, Elliott, that's been fairly consistent, along with now it looks like White is leading in tackles, Alexander's in sacks, and Marshall still has the one lone interception on the season i think we got a couple other players with an interception a piece but again in the division in the coastal we're in decent shape we just got to keep winning now we got beat my, by miami they got a one game lead above us even though we're kind of tied we needed to lose another one we beat virginia so we got a good lead on them we beat virginia tech and georgia tech so we're in great shape so the only thing it comes down to is continue to win of course North Carolina is going to be a humongous game at the end of the season, depending on if we can continue to win ball games. And then Miami needs to lose at least probably one more. 
Now we can go over here to Florida State. They're dead last in their division, yet they're still ranked nationally. They got a couple players out. They got a center out, a wide receiver. We'll see if both of them start. Looks like they lost to Virginia in their last game. But Xavier Lee is a dual threat quarterback. I remember him playing back in the day, although briefly he wasn't a Florida State for long. Then he got Lorenzo Booker, who was just an awesome running back back in the day. I'm sure he'll give us fits today. Then you got defensive leaders. Looks like they got one guy who's doing a little bit of everything for them. Okay, I am ready to take on the Seminoles. Let's go ahead and simulate the week. We'll see if we have anybody in trouble. We haven't had one in uh, incident all season in terms of discipline, which is good. So let's go and put on our default home uniform, which is the white up top and the blue at the bottom. Now, I don't think we've won a single ball game with this setup. So we kind of need to do something about that, except for last week, maybe the Georgia Tech game we had this uh, on and we was able to beat them. Either way, let's jump into the game. Looks like we have a day game and a pretty one at that in Durham, North Carolina. Hopefully we don't have any crazy wind to deal with. But it's cold, but there's no wind. That's fine. We're near the midpoint of the college They're not going to show the ACC standings because we're in two separate divisions. And here, and here come your Duke Blue Devils. 4-3 and three on the season. Playing a whole lot better than what we all expected. Just depends on who you play, though. <laughs> there he is, Xavier Lee, having a really good season so far. Let's see if we can slow him down some today. I'm assuming they're going to pick the Seminoles, and they are, so let's go right to the coin toss. And it looks like we are, we won the toss. I'm going to go and kick off. We will get the ball in the second half. That is always my preference. And let's check out this heavy-duty roster. Now, Xavier Lee's not an impact guy, thankfully, but he's got 84 speed. So I'm not going to blitz him much. I'd rather keep him in the pocket. Make him force some bad throws and such. Now, Leon Washington, impact guy. Everything's going to go through this kid right here. There's Booker, who's our leading rusher, which tells me Washington probably got injured sometime during the season. Well, he's back, and he seems to be healthy. Fullback, 89, and he got 84. Then their wide receivers, 87, 85. This guy's going to be out today. Then 80, 80, 76. Kenny O'Neill, I remember him. I think he's got a Tennessee ties there. Now, tight end, 84 and 82. This guy can run a little bit. Looks like he can catch a little bit. Then you got their offensive line, 82, 74, 95. So their top center is out, and that is a massive drop-off for them. Maybe we can take advantage of that somehow. Right guard, 82, then right tackle, 80. So their offensive line isn't the greatest thing in the world. Now, you look at their defense. They run a 4-3, 82, and 86 on the ends. Then 89, 76, 80. So their front four is pretty solid. 97 overall. Big Ernie Sims. He was like the number one player coming out of high school back in his time, whatever year that was. Back in 2001, probably, or 2002. Either way, middle linebacker, 87. And their right outside linebacker, 95. So their outside linebackers are legit. Probably the best combo we will face all season. I can't imagine a better combo out there. Corner, 84 and 78 and 78. So a bit of a drop off there. Maybe we can do something here. I don't know. Free safety, 92 overall. Really strong. Arguably the best free safety in the conference. Then 90 overall at strong safety. So their back end is really solid. Kickers, 78 and punter, 82. Okay. I think I've seen enough. Let's get this show on the road and hopefully we can play well. Now they have an impact guy on the far left. I'm going to kick this over to the right. This is going to go even more right. This may go out of bounds. Yeah, this is going to go way far out. Put way too much English on it. So they're going to get decent field position. I hit the button way too early. I'm going to go nickel too high, man. My goal today on defense is to not let their running game absolutely destroy us. Let's see if we can pull that off. We're going to pass first thing. 
Good open field tackle. Don't know how many yards he got there. Nine yards on that one. We're going to stay in nickel too high, man. Looks like they're going right back to the same formation. They flipped it. Back to the pass. Oh, there he goes. And that's an easy gain for him. And I didn't blitz at all. We just sent the main four guys. So maybe they're going to throw more. I don't know. That's two straight passes. They'll probably go direct right here. Yep. Good guess. Good open field tackle, but he gains nine yards. I'm going to stay in man a lot today. Again, I just do not want them to run all over us. But they're off to a good start with that. That's a face mask. We see several face masks a game. If you remember, several months back, I increased. Oh, that's a 15-yarder. Oh, my gosh. Let's just make it easy on them. I increased all the penalties like 70%, which I don't mind. I, I'm, I'm kind of enjoying that. At least we're seeing some. If you kept it all 50, we'd hardly ever see any penalties. Toss play, get a stop right there. Good tackle by the defensive end. That could have been the middle or linebacker. So we're one of the top defenses in the country, but all that is just us running a ton of clock. Toss play again. Exact same play. Fine by me. They are loving that ace bunch formation. So it's third and forever. We're going to go basic cloud. Now, I am not going to do a spy. He's not going to get 18 yards on that play. I mean, it's possible. If we can force a field goal here, that would be amazing. Good job. Good job, everybody. So we are going to... Forced the field goal. Looks like I'm the one who made the play there. It looks like it was the other defender who done that. Either way, that's a good stop. And we're going to force that field goal. Now, I'm going to hate myself if we upset this team. And we could have had two visitors come in today. But that's okay. I had to go with my gut on that one. Miss it, miss it, miss it, miss it, miss it. And he misses it. Nice. Big play right there. So let's set up a couple things. Let's do ace normal here. Let's do a toss play. I'm going to run a ton of clock. They got one guy blitzing. And he's doing that, thank the Lord. We're going to go to the left. You saw what I had to do there. We will check this out here in a minute. Great run. Now you see what I had to do. My left tackle got obliterated. Got pushed back, so I had to run back and then pitch it. If I had pitched it like right here, that would have went off my tackles back, and that could have been a disaster. You know, being a great pitch by Schneider. So we are on the left hash. I don't need a sub package here. Let's do a basic run with Dargan. We're going man. I'm going to leave it as is. The clock is stopped, so we'll go ahead and... Good block right there. Good blocking. And we stayed in bounds. First down. We got that. I'm just trying to think of any other sub packages I need to use. I think I'm fine with the rest of them. Let's run slam with Boyle. Zone 4-3. Ooh, I guess we'll go to the right. We got more bodies on that side. The clock is going. We're going to let it go. Very good chance I'll be going up the A gap on this one. Good tackle. Didn't get much on that one. Let's do fullback over. Zone 4 3. I'm going to try to make this as short as a game as possible. I'm going to run as much clock as I can. Give us, ourselves a chance. If we can get a block on that right outside linebacker, or the one to our right, we may have a chance to get a good gain here. 
Good blocking. That's what we wanted to see right there. A little risky on the juke, but we got the first down. I still want to run the ball, to be honest. Let me think. Let's go here. Let's do an off tackle. Run with Dargan. They're going zone 4-3. I like the shift for the most part. For some reason, I just feel like we need to continue to run the ball. Get down to a couple of seconds here. No, great defense. Excellent pursuit across the board. Let's do a halfback direct. They went with one. I'm definitely going to go with one. So they're going man nickel, but this is what worries me. They're bringing everybody, and I don't have an audible for this one. This may be a disastrous of a play, but if we can get... Let's see. Ooh, that's going to help us a little bit. No, and good defense. That guy was not going to give us a chance to do anything on that one. So third and 13. Ooh, what do we go with here? I'm going to go with the play action play. We're going man. We're going dime. This may sound really crazy. I just got something on my mind, so we're going to try it. We're going to go over here. They're, they're going cover zero. Surely not. They do. We're going to try to go to Elliott. We're going to have rolling block. No, we're going to the tight end. Get it set. Oh, good defense. Yeah, just good D. He was open, but Schneider short-armed it. They went cover once. I went to the tight end. Yeah, he just a little short on the throw, unfortunately. Get a stop, stop, stop. Safety, baby! <laughs> Man, we needed that. That was huge. Big play right there. Go back and look at this. Massive play. Oh, my gosh. It's been a long time since I've seen a safety. We may have a decent chance here. Somebody get a block. Block, 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 block. God, take it, son. Take it to the house. Drummer, six points. No flags. No flags. No flags. Oh, a flag. Oh, my gosh. It was too good to be true. Clipping. Oh, man. Such a huge play right there. So we are on the left hash. No, we're in the middle of the field. So let's do something about that. Let's go deep cross up. Oh, man. Let's see if we can overcome that. I was fixing to get sacked. I had to get off quick. And as you can tell, it didn't work. Right tackle. Couldn't hold the guy. So we'll go back to fullback over. Maybe we can get a decent run on this one. The clock has stopped, so we can go ahead and snap this one. Get him over there. There we go. Get a decent... Yeah, just don't fumble it. Get a first down there. I have a pass play on my mind, but that is the end of the first quarter. I'm not going to be able to pull it off. So we are up two to nothing. Who would expect that type of score at the end of the first? <laughs> I want to go to that pass play. We're going to go here. We're going to go corner combo. And they're going man. We're going to do something like this. This is going to go to Ryder Elliott. Dang it. That's picked. I was not expecting a triple team there. That's what happened, though. They had two spies. They got a spy right here, spy right there. So that's perfect defense right there. I could have went to this guy right here, possibly. Either way, good defense. Let's go back to Drummer. Let's do another toss. They're going man-dime, but they got the two outside linebackers at the ends. Let's do something like this. 
Can we get a first down? Just get, we'll get out of bounds as long as we get the first. Good play there. Let's go with a PA read. Zone nickel. The clock has stopped, so I'm going to go ahead and just bass this to boil. Now, Schneider's not a very good at making this throw. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> we got the first. That, that was almost picked off. So we're on the 23. Let's go with... Let's do counter strong. We've had a, some decent success with counter strong. They're going man. This is a nice little tag off that fullback over. Ah, good defense though. Middle of the field. Second and 12, 25 yard line. That is just about the right amount of room we need to maybe get a touchdown here. About any closer and it's going to be tough to make this play. And I did not, didn't mean to do that, but we're going to get a touchdown anyways. I was supposed to run clock and I didn't, but we're going to get the touchdown. My right tackle done a lot better job blocking. And we was able to get the six points to tally. And just like that, we are up eight to nothing. Hopefully we'll go up nine. And there you go, up nine to nothing. And again, I'm not gonna get upset if we win because we could have had a chance of getting some guys to commit, but that's okay. There's still a lot of game left to be played. I'm gonna kick this back over to the right again. A little bit better, this should stay in bounds. He's gonna return it. Uh-oh, that's a block in the bank, somebody call it. Let's, I'm going to go back to man. We're going to do something like this. Back to ace bunch, and they went to the toss play again. You keep doing it, that's fine. That's the third straight time they've done it. That exact same formation and everything. We'll make a little shift there. Good stop there. I thought he had another crease. So it's what? Third and eight? We're going to go clad. Now this time I think I will do a spy. Now he's a righty, so we're going to have our spy on the right side. I got the middle of the field. Went P.E. Reed. No, the QB choice. Interesting play call. We will take it. And we're going to force a punt. Now, we're going to go with a double cross. If I went with an all-out block, they will come in to protect it. Let's see if we can get good blocking on this one. But I'm going to fair catch that one. I think that's a, a wise idea. Let's go back to another P re. This time we'll do it from gun normal. We're going man dime. Hmm. Well, they're going to throw it. Perfect defense. Nothing I could do with that one. Good play. Let's go back to that direct zone nickel. Let's run some clock. Ugh, that dang shift. I can't, I mean, that's the perfect shift for them right there to stop this. But we'll stick with the play. Maybe we can get a decent block. I'm going to bring somebody over. I still want to go to the right. That's shorter yardage. We have to run. Got some yards there, so it's third and something. Third and seven. I am not going to... try to go for I think yes I'm gonna just try to play this safe we're going zone nickel I don't mind punting here this I don't want to throw an interception I don't think it's in our best interest to do so 
Let's go ahead and snap this. Ah, man, a bath throw, and he dropped it. He was wide open, too. That was going to be a first down. He had to come back for it. So we'll punt it. Let's see if we can put him in the corner. Fair catch it. No, but he's... Ooh. That was close. Let's go back and play some more defense. Apparently, we're decent at that. They're throwing the ball a whole lot more than I expected. I figured they would just hand the ball off to that number three right there, but they don't want to for whatever reason. Good throw to the tight end. Pick up a first. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense I'll stick with my basic two high man look. Florida State comes out of the shotgun. Halfback draw. Ah, ow. Just pooped the bed on that one. So it's first and ten again. Good to see a halfback draw from the gun work. I can never make them work, but that's neither here nor there. Good open field tackle, but that's a good gain of practically ten yards. And they're on the move. Minute 36 to go. Let's see what they do here. Basic run. Good tackle. Al. Still gets the first. Now you can see why I'm going to stay in man. I'm just trying to keep everything in front of me. It seems to be working so far. They haven't scored a point yet. Another draw. Good tackle, but guess what? Face mask. Another one. This is the five-yarder. So all of the penalties have gone against us so far today. Just trying to make it easy on him, I guess. Another halfback draw. First down. If I don't own halfback draw will work that decent, I would use it more, but it never does for me. It always gets blown up in the back field. Stop him. There you, oh, look at the look at the uh, How many tackles did he break there? One, two, three, four, five. Five tackles broken, and he's not even past the yard marker. That's just nothing you can do about it. And that's a perfect reason why I keep running back ability of 40%. This is going to be halfback off tackle. They always call it from here. Told you. I knew it was coming. Let's see what they call here. Now they're going to call something really goofy since they're going no huddle. Good stop right there. So it is third and goal. And they may go back to this same play. And they're going to. Ah, he still gets in. And just like that, they're on the scoreboard. They'll probably get an extra point. And we will be up two. Now, we're going to have 32 seconds left. I will probably try not to do anything stupid here. We'll probably just go to half with the lead. Unless we get a great opportunity on this drive to do something. We'll see. But they essentially ran the ball the entire time on that drive. Halfback draw. It worked to perfection every time. And breaking tackles left and right. Middle of the field. We can go ahead and give it a shot. If it doesn't work, then I, I may take a knee, and we'll go to half. I still got all three timeouts. Almost got, that was almost a fumble. That could have been a disaster. So what I'm going to do, we're going to run the ball. They may call a timeout, to be honest, if I just run the ball. That's why I'm going to run instead of taking a knee. 
So I'm giving up on our dream of trying to score on a touchdown on this drive. But hopefully we don't fumble it either. Good block there. I didn't get out of bounds either, did I? And I probably should have. Yep, the clock has stopped. So we're going to call a timeout for the lettuce. So we lost two seconds there. We're on the 45. We're going to go... Uh, let's go here. Uh, let's go back and go normal on this one. Go halfback angle. We're going man. We'll probably go to somebody on the left. Cover one. We need to get out of bounds, so it is second and six. Let's go P. Reed. We're going zone, so I'll probably bounce this out the drummer. Terrible throw. What are you doing? Jeez, that's an awful throw. I'm going to call the same play. That should have been an easy first down, but for whatever reason, Schneider cannot make this throw, and I don't understand it. Get a first down there, and we got out of bounds. Eight seconds, 43. Uh, we probably need to go over the top. We'll go tight end cross. We got one more play where we don't have to get in the end zone before we obviously have no choice. We're going cover one. And we got one second left. 35 yard line. Now I cannot kick a field goal there. So we're going to go Hail Mary. We'll go offensive line so we can protect at least a little bit. Let's go with this one. Second and two coming up here. And We're going zone. We're going to bring over and we'll probably see how far Adams, I guess. Be the last play the half. Back to throw. Let's see if we can get a touchdown. Good defense. That was worth a shot. So we are up two at the half. That was an interesting first half. But I'll take that lead any day of the week. Now let's check out some stats. We're doing really well on the offensive front just in terms of comparing to them. Our passing game has been pretty awful. Schneider is struggling. He's just making some bad throws. I mean, he's even, he's struggling to hit the P.E. Reed, you know, little flare route. For whatever reason. And neither team is doing well on the third down front. We got the one turnover. What's really hurting us is penalties. We got four and they don't have any. You go to individual stats. Again, Schneider's not doing anything. Running the ball, Drummer is doing a whole lot better than the other two for now. Whatever reason. Then he got receiving. We got a bunch of different guys get to catch the ball, but nobody's really doing much with it. You look at defensively. Dewan is leading in tackles. Tackles for loss is Nichols with well, three of them. Uh, interceptions and sacks, we don't have any. So let's get into it. Third quarter, second half. Let's see if we can pull off the upset. We're going to have to play a little bit better this half than we did in the first. Let's see if Wright can do something on this kickoff. Nope. Somehow he got away with that. <laughs> so we're on the right hash. Let's go back and see if we can run the ball. Let's go back to slam. Zone 4-3. I love the shift. We'll go to the right. Just nothing there. And I kind of stopped. That was my fault. Second and eight. We can go back to slam with Dargan before we figure out what to do on third down. We're going man. That's a hard shift. So we're going to go to the left. We're going to let that clock roll. Get it down to a couple seconds. I wouldn't mind staying in the middle of the field here, so I'm going to try to keep that in mind when we make a... Ooh, or, oh, why did I... I didn't mean to spin. But great block in there. Somebody had a killer block right there. Our left tackle. Great block on that linebacker. Good block there. For whatever reason, I spinned. I don't know why. But we got the first down. I'm going to run a basic dive with Drummer. We're going man dive. I was hoping they'd go zone. That's okay. I like what I'm seeing so far. We can go to the left. 
Let that clock roll some more. We're going to try to pick our spots at the pass game. Again, our pass game has been terrible today. We're going to have some cushion to work with here. Just don't fumble it. Get a first down there. And we're back on the left hash. I want to go back to P.E. Reed from tight. Zone dime. I almost want to run the ball. But I like our chances of getting extra yards if we just threw it to Boyle. So I think that's what we may do. I like the light box, but again, those two defensive ends, I don't trust them. Let's go ahead and snap it. Ah, just just another tough... I don't know what his deal is. That's just a bad throw. It's a miracle the Boyle caught that. But for whatever reason, Schneider just can't make a decent throw with that one. Let's do tight end delay. They're going zone 4-3. I was hoping they go man. I wanted to get Drummer out in the, on the edge. We'll do something like this. We'll go to Adams or Patrick. I would love to try to go play action, but last time we went play action, it did not go well. Good throw. By far his best throw of the day. Right where it needed to be. Now we're on the 21. One thing I want to try... I need to set this up. I, I I forget to do this. But I want to go... I want to at least set this play up right here. There was another one I wanted to set up, but... I want to at least set up PA fullback flat. We're going to do that. I need to think about my audibles later on. Because that's a killer man beaten play. But they're going zone here, so we'll stick with this. We're going to go to the right, even though their defensive end the line shifting to the right. Their best players are technically on the left. So the clock is stopped. We'll go ahead and snap this. Good blocking there. Just get a first down. Dargan. We're fixing the score. Hopefully we can. Let's run something basic. Let's go back to fullback over. We're going man. We're going to bring him over. See, this is another formation I can audible back in to that spider 2 wide banana play. But we don't have to do that here. We should get a decent gain here as long as the blocking's halfway decent. There we go. Just enough for six points. Okay, that's a good start to the third quarter. We are up eight. About to go up nine. Do something like this and we will get that extra point so let's see if we can stop them this time last drive they had a pretty easy drive for six points at least this one's not going to go out of bounds but it is returnable and their impact guy is going to make the play here good tackle Let's go back and play some more man. Again, if I was them, I would just run the ball the entire time. Give it to number three. Fake toss. Good play. I was way off kilter on that one. That's the throw we try to make to Patrick earlier, and he short-armed it. We'll go 4-3 man. Do something like this. QB draw. Easy first down. QB draws work halfway decent in this game. From the gun at least. And just like that, they are on their way to scoring a touchdown. Unless we can hold them off. Speed option. I had to go all the way over to make the tackle. I'm still satisfied by staying in man. And this, if I went zone, they would eat it alive with the run game. 
Half bag draw. Somebody stop it. He somehow squirmed and got six yards out of it. They're playing it smart. They finally decided, hey, let's just run the ball. How about that? Don't run to the right. And what did I just say? Another run to the right. You got to pick your poison in those situations, and hopefully they pick the wrong one. But maybe we can force a fumble or something, anything. Ah, I probably had a chance to get a stop there. Either way, another easy drive for them. Just run, 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 and we couldn't do nothing about it. I could go zone, and they'd still torch it. We could try some of it, but I don't think it's going to work. They, that's when talent overrides that situation there. Thankfully, we still have a lead. When you throw in a dual-threat quarterback, that makes things even harder. That's why a lot of teams like to have them. We're going to keep this one. We're in the middle of the field, so let's try to take advantage of that and go deep cross up again. They're going man on this one. This is where I probably need to throw in an audible. I think Schneider can handle this. Cover two. Let's just go over to the out. Not a good throw. So Schneider is just playing awful right now, and I hate it for him, but he just he's just not playing good, and I don't know why. Let's go halfback option. Let's do a toss. They're going man, and they are blitzing from everywhere. Yay! We're very fortunate we got four yards on that one. Third and six. I would love if they would go like man here, but they're probably not going to. Ooh, they're going man. We may have a chance on this one. And they're going 4-3, so we lucked out. No, let's go back. We need to run some clock. Completely forgot about that. We're going to go to Drummer on this one. Good throw. Just enough for the first down. Barely. First and ten. We could try another counter play. We're going man dime. I actually may run this one before the clock ends just because they got a bunch of skinny guys out there. Maybe we can run a... Oh, dang it. I just, <laughs> I just completely overlooked it. So, end of the third quarter, we are up two. Can we survive? Can we hang on and pull off another upset? That would be great if we could. Nobody blocked that dude. Not even close. So what do you call at this point? Let's try. I don't mind going back to fullback over. But we're going zone on this one. I'm going to try to keep in mind maybe being in the middle of the field. If we get stuffed. But we will let that clock roll. Not in the middle of the field. So we will try. It's going to be tight. We'll, we'll do it on this side. And they're going man, so never mind. So if they go cover two, just don't go cover two. This is, I mean, we can't beat cover two with this one. I need an audible for this formation. They're going cover one. Interception. And six points. Just a perfect play by the defender. So again, Schneider just not playing well. Whatever reason, he just can't make good throws today. And he's my best offensive player. And that dude just got right in front of it like it was nothing. Nothing. 
So they're going to go for it here. And they're going to go off tackle. More than likely, or the halfback direct. One of the two. Told you. Right, off tackle. And just like that, they're up six. So I'm going to go back to the run game because, again, I don't trust Schneider. He just can't make good throws. And it's sad because he's my only impact guy on offense. But what do you do about that? You know, I just. He's just a bad impact quarterback. Let's go slam here. Just terrible. No blocking. Just nothing. So, looks like they're really starting to take this ball game over. You can just feel it. We're going to have to get really lucky on something. But as you can tell, they've really stepped up their game. This isn't going to work because they shifted. So, I'm still going to go to the left. We'll try something in the middle of the field again, but it... We're going to have them probably need to call zone in order to have a chance to. Just nothing. Absolutely nothing. So now Florida State's really starting to pep things up a little bit. And this is the reason why I didn't want to set up. Go zone. I want you to go zone here. This is the reason why I didn't have those guys come and visit. Because I just didn't feel like we had a good chance of winning today. Watch them go cover zero. They're going cover zero. Let's go, Schneider. Make a decent throw. Wow. Their, their secondary is legit. And it doesn't help that Elliott, I don't have any decent size wide receivers. I mean, Elliott's probably like 5'10", if that. So we're going to have to start maybe using timeouts the way things may be going. We still got time left, but just all of a sudden our offense can't do squat. I can't wait to get a quarterback that can actually do something as an impact player. Look at this. Just all of it. Look, I just, again, this game's over with. You can just feel it. That'll happen eventually. But again, I, I hate it. it. just stinks that my best player can't even play well. I need another impact guy on offense. If Schneider isn't going to do anything, let him give up his for something else. Off tackle. They call the perfect play here. Marshall brings him down. He seems to be running harder and harder as the game goes along. And if you notice, guys, the defense seems to be getting a little bit tired out there. At this point, I'm going to have to call a time. i got to call a timeout, I guess. I mean, we're just running out of time. But I don't know what to do about it. They're just going to run all over me. So I think I made the right call by not having anybody come to visit today. That would have been a disaster. We need a fumble, something, anything. Wow. Well. <laughs> okay, game over. So let's get out of here as quickly as possible. So that fourth quarter was as bad as you could ask for. But we should keep our expectations low, I guess. Just who we're going up against and whatnot. He played so well for about three quarters, and it just kind of pooped a bit afterwards. Oh, man, we could have... Mm. That was our chance to get some points, anything? Okay, so we're down 12. i got to throw the rest of the way. Let's see if Schneider can handle it. I'm going to say that he can't. Hope I'm wrong. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Do you guys remember what this offense did the last time they had the ball? Did they have the ball before? I can't bench them. And they're going man. Of course they are. So this play probably isn't going to work. Last time we threw it. Lines up in the shotgun. Schneider on first down. I had to throw it off the back foot on that one. Good catch there. Ross with a takedown. I like 
like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. We got to hurry this up a little bit. They're going man 4 3. Let's go. Looks like they're going cover zero. And that's my fault. I, I waited way too long. I should have threw it right there and I didn't. Again, 100% on me. My bad. And guess what? They're going man again. So this probably won't work. We got lucky on that last throw. Cover one again. Good. That's by far his best throw of the day. Let's go back to P. Reed. I probably should have called a timeout there, but we're going to have to use them later on more than likely. Get a first down there. We're on the 26. Let's go full back over. We're going zone. I was kind of hoping they go man. I wanted to go to that play action play. We could have got some really good yardage off of it. Good block there. Just get a first down. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go crossers. I don't know if this is a good spot to do this or go in zone. This probably isn't going to work. Intercepted. Just a terrible play. That play used to work really decent against zone, but now it doesn't anymore. I'm going to go to direct. We're going man nickel, but they're blitzing. This isn't going to work. We can go to the left, maybe. Oh, he still came in. And a, mm, we're very fortunate it wasn't a fumble. And just like that, this game's over with. 18 yards. I don't think we're going to be able to get this one off. I don't think we're going to have enough room to do it. Throw to him, at least. Did we get? It's fourth and inches. We got to go for it, of course. Let's go halfback angle. Let's see if we can get a first down here. I probably need a intercepted. <laughs> That's terrible. That's my fault. So just an awful game all around. That's just my fault. Oh, well. We had a chance, I guess, in the third quarter. Then it just everything went all the, the crap in the fourth. I'm not going to waste the time out on that one. He made the most of every carry he's got, whether it's making guys miss or just playing. So thankfully we didn't have those two guys scheduled to visit the day. That would have been a mistake. But give it up to Florida State. They're a much better team than we are, and it showed today. They, this was a talent game for sure, especially when my quarterback just couldn't play well. It is what it is. Off tackle again. And good job, Al. Flag. We're going to decline it. That's probably a off a clipping. In game. All right. So we got beat 28 to 16. We can check out some stats. There's not going to show a whole lot. Because just, I mean, we've done a whole lot more offensively, yards wise, but it doesn't matter. Points is all that really matters. And. Turnovers. Turnovers did not go our way. They won the third down battle. They won the penalty situation. They just won pretty much everything. The stuff that mattered at least. 12 of 24 for Schneider. Two interceptions. He's just awful, and it's just a shame he's an impact player to go with that. Doesn't make any sense. We ran the ball okay. I kind of wish Boyle had his worst game of his season. Just didn't do anything the few times we gave it to him. Receiving, of course, that didn't go very well. Defensively, green lead and tackles and this other stuff really doesn't matter. The box score, again, fourth quarter. They took care of business and we didn't. All right, let's get out of here. And as you could tell, we did not get that commitment for that tackle again. We got to win ball games in order for that to happen. And, and uh, apparently the win over Georgia Tech when he did visit wasn't good enough. So when we go back to NC's of recruiting, 
Thankfully, we are still going after all four guys. Now, we're still at the top for war, but we got to win another game in order for him to commit. Now, Harper's coming in next week, and so is Colby Lacey. It'd be great if Sean Harris would make up his mind, but he just won't for whatever reason. And we're running out of home games to do all this stuff. So let's go and check out the top 25 scores from this week. Of course, we got beat by Florida State. Virginia over North Carolina. So North Carolina finally got their first conference loss of the season. Auburn over LSU. UCLA over Oregon State. Texas over Texas Tech. Michigan State over Northwestern. Iowa over Michigan. UTEP over Marshall. Then you have Louisville over Cincinnati. BYU over Notre Dame. Toledo over Buffalo. Oklahoma over Baylor. Kansas State over Texas A&M. Ohio State over Indiana. Tennessee over Alabama. Those were the days. Miami over Georgia Tech. Pitt over Syracuse. USC over Washington. And Stanford got upset by Arizona State. That's the one upset of the week. So come on back. We will take on Wake Forest. We're going to have two visitors come in. We need to win that game big time. You look at their stats here. They're not incredible at anything. Their pass defense is okay. But hopefully we'll play a whole lot better against a much lesser opponent this go round, and maybe we'll get a commitment or two. So come on back. We'll take on the Demon Deacons, and I'll talk to you later.